This video was presented by the EA Creator Network. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we have a very exciting video because as you can tell by the title, I am doing another speed build using the new Growing Together expansion pack. So right off the bat, I just want to put it out there that obviously my gallery ID Dr. Underscore Ashley is like bouncing around the screen in the speed build and that's because I actually filmed this video back when I had early, early access of this um, expansion pack. However, I didn't end up editing the footage until now, so this video is very late. And I thought, you know what, better late than never. I'm still proud of this build, even though it's technically not early access anymore. I still wanted to share it with you guys. Um, a couple things when I had early access, I was on vacation for like a day or two of the early access period, so I didn't get as much time with the pack as other people who had early access, and then I also um, got sick like um, the week of release as well. So any editing that I should have done, I kind of didn't do as much as I wanted to because I was sick. So yeah, better late than never, I think. I, I think this is a really cool build um, one good thing about this build is the fact that it's only base game and growing together. So it's a very limited pack build. So if you guys just got the growing together expansion pack and you don't have many packs in addition, um, this one will be perfect for you because it only uses the base game and the new pack. So firstly, the concept of this build. So this was like the first idea that came to mind when I first looked at the new expansion pack is the fact that I wanted to make townhomes. So you guys might know, I haven't really talked about it a ton, but townhomes is something that I want in The Sims so, so badly. You guys know that City Living is basically my favorite expansion pack ever. I just love the concept of living in an apartment, maybe because I personally live in an apartment, so that really resonates with me. But I really like apartment living, and I think townhomes would be super, super cool as well. And that, to me, is like the next type of lot that we need. I want townhomes more than I want multifunctional lots. Um, maybe it's on par with how badly I want hotels. I think townhomes would just be so cool. And we have dorm rooms too. So dorm rooms, hotels, townhomes, apartments, all of that. I don't know. I just really like that concept. So when I saw that uh, Growing Together was going to be kind of inspired by San Francisco. My first initial thought was that we were going to get townhomes or that would be the perfect opportunity to get townhomes. However, seeing what the pack is actually about with all of the family gameplay features and the family relationships and stuff like that and all the other features that came with this pack, it's clear that townhomes wasn't going to be the main addition of this pack. Um, townhomes would be like a really major update so it it didn't seem like we were getting them in this pack so I thought you know to to ease the pain a little bit I would just make my own um, so yeah that's what I'm doing here today I also wanted a chance to use some of the more modern large windows and doors because the first couple suburban homes I had made I used more of the like classic traditional suburban craftsman style assets but then I noticed that this pack came with these really big um, kind of modern looking windows and doors there was like a modern aspect to some of the build objects and I thought that it would suit better in kind of like a new development townhome. I don't know about your city, but in my city, anytime I see like a new development, it's oftentimes like townhomes and they're starting to like bulldoze like single family homes and like combine them and make them into townhomes that can house more people, I guess. So townhomes are becoming really common, at least in my city. I think it's like more efficient because you can like house more people obviously so I thought that it would be perfect for um, this type of a expansion pack that's focused on family gameplay just because um, nowadays more than ever I feel like new families aren't necessarily getting like a big home for themselves sometimes they're moving into a townhouse with their first child and then maybe when their family grows they will move into a bigger house to the suburbs or something like that so 
All in all, I thought that this concept would be good for like new parents who are having their first baby or something and you want to live in a townhouse. So yeah, that was like where my head was at with this whole growing together expansion pack. So personally, I think that townhomes should have come with this pack. Obviously, I see why they didn't, but you know, it was a missed opportunity in my opinion. Nonetheless, a missed opportunity. So here you can see I've pretty much like done the facade. I'm just um, doing like a couple of finishing touches and details. I made them quite uniform and you may be like, oh, why didn't you make them like typical San Francisco uh, townhomes? Because San Francisco does have like nice, really colorful townhouses and stuff. However, I didn't feel like the PAX assets and color schemes really lent itself to that really traditional San Francisco vibe. It did look a little bit more modern so I wanted to lean into more of that modern new development look so that's why they look more like beige and modern and black and white and monochromatic um yeah to me this looks like your typical new development townhome at least like based on my experience so I did also want to include the treehouse and some play area like a community aspect to this townhome complex oftentimes when you live in a townhome complex there are like some more communal areas like your own private yard with a treehouse and the jungle gym I also have like an outdoor communal barbecue space so you can host um, like parties or barbecues or if you have like a toddler birthday party or something like that I imagine maybe they could like rent out that communal space out back and then throw a barbecue and a little outdoor picnic or something so you'll see me kind of put in the barbecue and stuff later in total here I have three townhouse units so hypothetically I was hoping you would have like three separate households or families living here. Now there are a couple ways that you could incorporate that into your gameplay. Firstly, you can have like a multi-generational family live here if you wanted to and imagine that like the whole family just bought out the whole complex. So you can have like your grandparents living in one of the units. You can have, you know, the the parents living in one and then maybe like your your eldest son or daughter or something lives in another one by themselves or something so you can have like a multi multi-generation like have the cousins live here and just have like a big family all like live in really close quarters or alternatively you can have your family or your household pick which one they like and then if you have discover university you do have the um like roommate option so you can post an ad and rent out the spare bedrooms and stuff and then a NPC will come and live in one of the open beds and pay you rent so you can actually rent it out if you want to um, you just have to like lock the doors accordingly and really make sure you have your door management correct so that you know that certain sims won't be like going into different each other's units and stuff like that so there is a little bit of planning that you have to do some logistical stuff you need to do but it should work all the same another option that you can also do if you have the growing together expansion pack which you will if you are downloading this obviously you need the growing together expansion pack you can also leave one or some of the units vacant for stayovers so one of the new features of the pack the growing together pack is you can have stayovers and schedule um, your in-laws or your brother or whatever to come over and stay in your house basically and then they can help you with chores help you with the new baby just spend time with you and your family so you can also leave some of the units vacant um, to schedule stayovers so you basically have like a guest bedroom but it's like a guest townhouse in a way so there are a couple options to make this um, usable for gameplay and yeah I hope that you like those options I hope I hope it works out for your gameplay somehow but I think that's why in general I think townhomes as a actual concept was possible in the sims because sometimes I want to have neighbors but I don't want to have to control them and obviously there is the workaround of Discovery University, but it's not really the same as having like a full family living next to you, but not having to control them like 
just having one roommate or single roommates is is not really the same if you know what I mean so it would be nice to have um actual townhomes so here's hoping that maybe this video someone from the sims team sees it and it inspires them to start working on townhomes i think like that's our new thing that we need to manifest you guys if we're gonna manifest something it's gonna be townhomes seriously townhomes and hotels i really want like a resort and a hotel and have like different resorts to choose from and like a motel just like i want i want to go on vacation but not just to like a rental lot. I want to go to an actual like resort. I just think that'd be so cool. But anyways, I digress. Um, here you can see we are working on the first townhome or the first unit, I should say. I don't know. Um, and each of the three townhome units is going to have a different kind of storyline, a different aesthetic. Obviously, I only had base game to work with in addition to the pack, so I was a little bit limited. And I did want to make sure that each one of these townhome units looked completely different in a way and had its own style and own personality. So what I had in mind for this unit, this first unit, was maybe it was like a aunt or something or just somebody, an adult who is completely like hate has the hates children trait like they don't want kids they don't want to be around kids they just you know they're a single pringle and they're living their life and they're um, very artsy they're very bougie they're kind of fancy um, they're into music and art and the fine arts and they're just very like you know like classy and yeah they, they don't want kids. They don't want anything to do with kids. They like their home nice and pristine and clean. They have a lot of expensive items in their home. They have a nice marble dining table in the middle and a nice fancy couch and a big flat screen. They have um, multiple bedrooms. They have multiple bathrooms. They have a nice little powder room down here and then also an ensuite or another bathroom upstairs. Their backyard is just some lounger chairs so they can tan. And it's just somebody who doesn't, doesn't want kids. <laughs> and I thought it would be funny because this is obviously like a family and like kid oriented um, expansion pack. So I thought it'd be funny imagining like this person having to live next to this whole complex full of children and families and stuff and like low-key they're like kind of annoyed all the time they're not like your typical friendly neighbor you know they walk out in the morning and then you're walking out with all of your kids and they like scoff at you because they're like ugh, like not you again <laughs> but it's like come on, like, you're choosing to live here. If you don't want to be around kids, you should just move. But, you know, they obviously like living here. I don't know. I think you guys get the vibe. You guys, you guys can picture this person, right? Yeah. So, obviously, I think what's funny is, like, I think I like this unit the best. Like, I would totally live here personally. I don't hate kids, by the way. I definitely want kids. But, um, yeah, I, like, for me personally, just to, like, live here, I would... I think I would. I think it's quite nice. Um, I tried to use like the white swatch of the new Growing Together bed and I think when you use the white swatch it does look quite luxurious and I don't know I think it gives it a little bit more of an elegant vibe especially with that more opulent rug as well. Um, up here I made the top floor like kind of like a loft in a sense because it looks down over there's like a little balcony of sorts and i tried to put a desk up here maybe they like writing in their spare time um this person who lives here is just into all the classy things you know they like piano and guitar and they like writing and i don't know they just have a lot of hobbies because they don't have to be responsible for any for any children so they have a lot of hobbies it's a good life if i had cats and dogs i would probably have this person have like some pets too i feel like they would want like a nice fluffy cat or like a small little dog or something i also wanted to put a little bar here too i thought that'd be great because they probably entertain and they have friends over and they have dinner parties and stuff like that so overall this unit is probably the most like 
classy, neutral, elegant of all of them. I kind of wanted to speed through that one as quickly as possible because that one wasn't really focused on families at all. So in these next two units that I'm going to do right now, you'll definitely see more kid-friendly stuff and more kids' rooms. So here we are on to the second townhouse unit so this one I wanted it to be basically like the opposite of the neighboring one so this is going to be like a large family or not a large family like a medium-sized family I can't remember how many I think it's going to be like a family of four I guess or family of five I think yes so first off the people that live in this middle um, unit have the short end of the stick mainly because they're sandwiched in between two units so they don't get windows on either side so obviously you want one of the corner units either the far left or the far right because you get the most windows and the most natural light whereas this one is a little bit darker a little bit more cramped feeling the size of the apartment or townhouse i should say is fairly similar to the rest of them but it just feels more cramped because you get less windows obviously so i thought it would be ironic and maybe slightly realistic i don't know to have the family who has the most children be in the smallest unit because you know like children are expensive so you know maybe the corner units are like very pricey so they have to be in this the smaller one so i think yeah it's a family of five and I have the teenager up at the very top, basically in like the attic almost. So you'll see me do that one. I think it's like such a cool moody space. So um, wait till later, I'll, I'll touch on it when we get to it later. But here I wanted to give a nice big kitchen, just, um, you know, I wanted to prioritize the kitchen just because when you have, you know, your kids and you're getting ready for school, I can imagine them all sitting on that island counter like eating their breakfast quickly and it's it is a very cramped space there isn't even space for like all of them to eat at the dinner table all at once so they kind of have to spread out and stuff when they're eating like I imagine some of them go upstairs and eat in their room some of them eat um, in front of the tv a couple of them will eat at the actual dining table so it's just like the busy lives of a of a family and sometimes you don't have time to sit down at the dinner table every single night and they're always spread out so yeah I don't know that's that it, it makes sense in my head like the the families that live in each one of these units is like so clear in my head in my opinion so hopefully you can kind of like see where I'm coming from as well here I'm just doing the living room it is like a little bit of a squishy living room but overall I do think that it's quite like nice and spacious like it's enough to you know get your tv entertainment I put some uh newborn like items and stuff and just some some kids toys because I imagine like the kids would come downstairs and play and stuff like that so yeah that's basically the downstairs now onto the upstairs the probably the worst part about this middle unit is the fact that there's only one bathroom yes all five of them are all gonna just share this one bathroom i guess so that's that's peak peak family struggle right there that's like peak chaos you know in the morning as you're getting ready for school and you all have to share that one bathroom you know it's totally doable I know a lot of people who only had one bathroom in their like house growing up and you know you make it work it is what it is <laughs> but overall I think it's a nice bathroom I obviously use the shower tub combo that comes with the new pack aka my favorite bathroom set to ever exist as of as of now so yeah I'm really happy about that shower tub combo but I'm sure I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it already and basically everyone because it's everyone's new favorite shower tub combo <laughs> but here you can see I'm doing the kids bedroom obviously I needed to give them bunk beds just for the space saving ability and then also just some some activities for them uh, it's a pretty decent sized room for 
two kids and they do have quite a lot to do in here so i think overall if i had this bedroom as a kid i would not be unhappy not at all because it does yeah it does the trick in my opinion definitely does a trick um here you can see we are working on the master bedroom or the yeah primary bedroom i should say and i had to squish the bed up into the corner uh, just because there wasn't like a great layout for me to have the bed in such a way that you could get you could access the bed on both sides so i did have to squish it out into the corner but i think it's fine because the sims can like scoot over now and i think it just is a very realistic representation of you know you have to you have to make it work sometimes your bed is shoved into the corner that's just how it is sometimes um and then i also wanted to put a crib Oh, so actually this has one, two, three, four, five. There's actually six people that technically live in this home because they're they're expecting a, a newborn. <laughs> Hence the crib in the in the parents' bedroom. So yeah, I feel like the family that lives in this middle unit is gonna have to move out soon because they're just not gonna have enough space for everybody because their family is just growing. And yeah, this is probably an example of a family that will eventually move to the suburbs and move into a larger home because um, yeah, they're, they're really running out of space here. Uh, but up here, this is what I was talking about with the teen bedroom, they get the upstairs. And yeah, it's like a really cozy space. Also, they have like their own private rooftop balcony. So I think as a teen, I would definitely love this room. Obviously, it's super inconvenient, the fact that you have to climb down a ladder if you want to use the bathroom. But, you know, at least you get like privacy and a nice rooftop to yourself, right? So there's trade-offs. There's trade-offs. I also just love how moody that upstairs bathroom is too. I think it looks... I think it looks quite nice and really big windows like you have natural light you probably even have a nice view from up there too you're pretty high up maybe there's a nice view of the city or something so yeah that seems fine to me <laughs> but here you can see we are on to the third and final uh townhouse unit so this one i think this one is technically the largest townhouse unit out of all three i believe because it has like that extra bump out on the right hand side so this one's the largest i'm assuming this one's also probably the most expensive one too let's just say and it is a very open concept so overall it just feels larger in general too and i thought that this one would be perfect for like two um like a couple who's having their first child or they're expecting their first child and i imagine that this couple like both of the parents work really like successful like have two successful careers like they have that double income they're really well off you know they're doing well for themselves and then now they're gonna have their first kid so they just bought or they just moved in to this nice corner uh, unit in preparation for their child so um, you'll see me make like the nursery upstairs and then also the primary bedroom upstairs but yeah I, I imagine this would be like a young couple and this is their first first baby ever they still have like a big dining table because they have like friends to entertain and they'd have like their their in-laws and their parents and their siblings come over and they'll host dinner parties i also wanted to give them a really big tv because yeah they're they're rich i don't know what are they maybe they're both like lawyers or something i don't know <laughs> but yeah they're they're doing fine for themselves also by the way that like crib that i put in the living room it's like um it's portable so you can put it in your inventory whenever you want to i just thought that i'd put it downstairs because i imagine since it's so large down here the couple would spend the majority of their time downstairs and they'd want their baby involved they don't want to leave their baby upstairs all the time so they have the crib down here if they want to but if you don't like it, you can just delete that or put it in your inventory and like take it to the park and then bring it out when you need it so it's actually a pretty cool object and I'm glad that they incorporated something portable like that. But here you can see we are upstairs onto this is going to be the parents' bedroom. So you can tell that I was like running out of um, like 
bed options because I'm using like this most typical plain base game bed. Um, again, I was limited packs, right? So there's just not the best bed options in the base game, especially when I had to make so many bedrooms in a build like this. And I didn't want to repeat too many of the same styles and stuff because I wanted each one of these to be quite different looking but yeah i'm sure this would turn out a lot cuter if i had all the packs but at the same time i'm also just like really proud that i was able to like make this um with just the base game because then anyone can use it so that's a win in my opinion um here you can see i also included the little baby bassinet because I'm assuming they haven't had their child yet, but when they do have their child, they're going to have the bassinet in the bedroom, like the same bedroom as them. Is that normal, by the way? If anyone is a parent or anyone knows parents or something like that, do you have the baby crib in your room when the baby's first born? Or do you like put it in its own separate room? Because I would assume you'd want it really close by so that if your baby needs you then you're there or is it like you don't want the baby close by because then you'll just get woken up all the time i don't really know let me know how does it work do you put the bassinet in the master bedroom or not nah? <laughs> i don't know but i'd like to know um here is the their future child's room now you may see one single large flaw about this room. Um, if you know, you know, um, but I'll give you a, a couple minutes to think about what the major flaw is for this toddler slash newborn bedroom. But um, yeah, so basically the flaw is that this toddler slash newborn bedroom has a um, private balcony, <laughs> which is probably not the best idea for a toddler room to have a door directly to a balcony because we don't want the toddler doing anything funny getting into danger but you know obviously in the sims it safety is not a concern the safety of our toddler children in the sims is not is not a, a concern <laughs> they're fine they'll just stay in here or you can also just lock the door too if you if you're really hung up about like the realism aspect, you can lock the door. But yeah, that was their future child's room. Obviously, these parents would have decked it out to its fullest. Before the baby's even born, they would have bought all the furniture because that's just who they are. I feel like this couple who lives here is like very type A, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, basically, the video is done. So I, I can't believe I actually like did that many like houses or townhouses in like this amount of time this video was kind of long but considering i basically made like three homes um i think it turned out pretty well and i also don't usually do like compact builds like this like my builds tend to be very vast and semi-luxurious and yeah so i'm pretty happy with how this turned out i'll have it available on the gallery for you guys to download obviously and yeah let me know what you guys think of this concept and if you also want townhomes let me know which one is your favorite which one would you move into which layout do you think would work the best and is like the most efficient for your needs i'd love to know um but yeah besides that thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm sorry that it was so late but i hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so you can see more videos like this suggested to you it really does help me out and leave a comment down below what you thought about it and if this is our first time meeting don't forget to hit that subscribe button button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more sims 4 videos i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye everybody